Well, welcome to the traditional Kit Plus NAB kit tour. This is what we've been using this year to shoot all the videos here at NAB 2016. And I reckon it's the best rig we've had so far. So let me give you a quick overview of what we've got. Uh, we'll start at the bottom. We have a Miller dolly. On top of that is a set of Miller carbon fiber legs. And on those legs, we have the Miller Arrow 40 head. Um, one of my favorite heads for sure. Um, very solid, very reliable. Controls are at the back here, so it's easy to get to. Uh, beautifully smooth pan and tilt, balance is easy, and it's just the right size for everything that we're carrying on top of it. Uh, we are using the DVX200 camera from Panasonic. This is one of their new 4K cameras. It's a fixed lens camera, uh, uses a Leica lens. The lens is beautiful, I have to say. The images we're getting out of this have been fantastic. Um, lovely pop-out LCD screen shoots 4K, shoots two on two SD cards. You can have relay, you can have duplicate recordings. Uh, very good camera, been very impressed with it this week while we've been shooting here at NAB. Um, powering the camera, I won't take it out, otherwise the cameras are gonna switch off. We're actually using the IDX uh, Panasonic batteries. So these are uh, made by IDX for this particular camera. Um, we've been running probably one of these or we get through about one and a quarter of these batteries in a whole day shooting, uh, and we're shooting a lot. I mean, we've done 70 of these uh, interviews over the three days or so, and um, these batteries have been spectacular. They've got a nice little um, addition of a USB just out here at the bottom, so you can even, if you suddenly need that five volts to charge your iPhone, look at that, they've gone and built it into the battery for you. Excellent batteries there from IDX, been very impressed and worked very well with the uh, DVX200. So if you're looking for a battery option, uh, other than the standard batteries that you get with them, uh, IDX definitely worth looking at. We've mounted the uh, Panasonic on top of what is the Ace Bill ST7R uh, camera rig, really. This gives us shoulder mount. Obviously, we're not using it, but it gives you a proper plate. We're using a proper Sony plate on the bottom. Very solid, very reliable. And um, this gives us the ability to obviously mount other kit on it and power things from a V-Lock battery. We're using an IDX battery here. Again, been very uh, good to us over the past three days. And a um, couple of features I like about this. Uh, you've got a D-Tap out at the back, which is pretty normal. You get a lot of that. But this one up here has been excellent. Uh, new to this one is we've got a D-Tap up this end. So this can power our lights, or you could power um, radio receivers, all sorts of things, but it's, a, it's up this end rather than up this end, so we're not having to run cables across, it's built into the system. Uh, so that's great. While we're talking about lights, uh, let's talk about the lights that we've been using. Uh, this year we're using the Dado Light LEDzilla, and uh, these are fantastic little lights, I have to say. We've been uh, uh, very impressed with them. They're very flexible, they're bicolor, we're using the bicolor versions, let's get this out of the way. And uh, they mount at the top, you can angle them, you can adjust the color temperature and the brightness here on the side. You can power them off a standard, in this case, a standard NPF battery or off a D-Tap. And you can also, of course, take this off and we're running another one uh, just up behind me on top of a, a bog standard lighting stand with an NPF battery in. That battery uh, just seems to last forever. We never have to change it. Uh, we, we put a battery on in the morning, it lasts us all day. And so that gives us a second little light and uh, very good barn doors on their swivels. And uh, you've even got a flood and spot uh, control here on the back. Incredibly flexible light, great color quality as you'd expect as well from Dado. And finally, for recording and monitoring, we're using the video devices Pix E5. Uh, this is the one that has the HDMI in and the SDI in. Uh, they do one with just HDMI. If you didn't need the SDI input, you could just get the HDMI version. Um, shoots 4K, shoots onto a little SSD drive in here, which when you unplug it has a USB 3 connector. You don't have to worry about caddies or anything like that. Plug it straight into your laptop or computer and you can offload or even edit straight off that card. Dual battery slots. We're running it off the DTAP just here. Again, it's typical sound devices, video devices quality. Uh, the picture quality on this is excellent. Proper buttons to press so you can get to all the functions really quickly. And for us, for fast turnaround stuff, works really well. And 
tied in with the uh, DVX200 is producing a great picture. Last but not least, while I'm talking into it, we've got the Sennheiser AVX mic. Uh, this mic ha is brilliant, especially around the shows. The way it, it doesn't seem you don't get interference with this mic. Very easy to set up. The quality of the sound is great. Uh, the receiver currently is just plugged now into a GH4, so I can't show you the receiver. I've shown it on the other videos. Look it up on the internet, though. It is a, a brilliant little kit from Sennheiser. You can just plug it into anything. Uh, XLR or in case of the GH4, the little cable that runs into the typical mic input. And that's it. That's what we've been using this year at NAB 2016. Been very pleased with it. Hopefully you're pleased with the results. Uh, and if you want to see what we've been doing with it, well, of course, don't forget to check out our website where all the videos will be. That, of course, is kitplus.com.